Let's talk a little bit of free agency. Okay. Just a little bit. I don't want to get too deep into this right now because we're going to have a more in-depth conversation about this when the, when the postseason's over, when the playoffs and World Series are over. Yeah. But we do have um, a couple of things here. First, Carlos Correa, like we talked about before, we predicted that he was going to opt out of his contract with the whole Dior comment that he made. Right, So he's going to opt out. He'll be a free agent. He's going to test the market. Yeah. But then Good we got Drew Hutchinson. Tigers Drew Hutchinson was DFA'd. Wilson Contreras is going to be one of the biggest targets this offseason because there are a lot because he's still got a lot of ball in him and there are a lot of a teams lot. that need a catcher. A and lot. you know what? I was pushing hard, pushing really hard for Wilson Contreras in Seattle this year earlier this year. Yeah. I don't think we need him. I don't think the Mariners need him. No. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't go to a, a, another AL West team. Um, I don't know of anybody that can afford him necessarily or would go after him, but that's my hope with him. Here's uh, another I, hot name. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Hey, well, I I'll we'll talk about this in our prediction episode, but I had I just had a thought that I would love to see him land in Anaheim. They do have an opening for a catcher. I just don't know if they would be willing to pay him. Hmm. They got that for could, sale sign out outside. Could yeah, but it could be fun. It could be fun. Yeah. I'm just thinking about the possibilities. Anyway. Wilson Contreras back number four behind Otani. Behind Otani. Yeah. 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 Here's another big one. Uh, Edwin Diaz. That's a huge <laughs> one. He is hot. He's so hot right now. He is Hansel. He is so hot. Um, yep. And this is the thing is that when the Mariners <laughs> traded him, he was like, you know how closers kind of have like a really small window where they're, they're elite and dominant? Yeah. I was okay with the trade because I was like, okay, he's like on the backside of that window. And last year he wasn't great, but man, this year he's back to form, and I think he's going to get paid next year. I don't know whether he's going to hit that backside of the window and tail off wherever he goes, but I think he's, I think he's going to get paid this offseason because there are a lot of teams who will pay that dude a lot of money to come in and do what he did for the Mets this year. Yeah, but I don't want to see in a Roldis Chapman situation, and I think it's entirely possible with Edwin Diaz that he gives whoever he goes to one to two years that are really, really good, and then we're wondering why he's here for the rest of the, the time. Honestly, I think that's what's going to happen. That's what I'm saying. He's on the tail end yeah. of that closer window. Yeah. And, and I I hope it doesn't happen because that it's, too. it's awful to see. I think it's going to – the way that they can remedy that is moving him into the role of a setup man. Yep. Is once he starts blowing saves, be like, okay, you're not our closer anymore. We got this guy who can close. Let's move you to our setup man role. Take you out of a, out of such a high leverage situation, hundred um, percent. But either way, he's going to get paid. Xander Bogarts is going to get paid. Oh yeah, somebody's going to give him a lot of money. Carlos Rodon. I don't know about that one, man. I don't know either. I think he'll be a hot commodity because of what he's done, but I don't think he's going to get what he could have gotten before oh. this year. Yeah, Dansby Swanson is Ooh. he'll he'll be highly sought after. I think that a lot of teams, like their top targets will be Carlos Correa, Xander Bogarts, and then Dansby Swanson will be their their bargain version of those two guys. Well, He's what about Trey team. Turner? Oh, yeah. I, I Trey Turner's farther down the line. So it'll be those three and then, yeah, and then Dansby Swanson. Yeah, exactly. Dansby Swanson's going to be the more affordable version of those guys, right? Like the like, Trevor story, right? Where yeah. it's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. 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 I agree so, with you. And then Justin Verlander is going to be free agent. Um, honestly, I see him just going back to Houston and playing out a couple more years, and that'll be yep. it. Yep. Jacob yep. DeGrom has made it sound like he's not going to be going back to the Mets. Aaron Judge is the big fish on the market this year. That's going to be crazy to follow. Clayton Kershaw says he's considering playing one more year. I could see him going back to the Dodgers and finishing it out. Josh Bell will be interesting to watch. Um, that especially guy's... if the Do- if the Padres win it all, yeah, that will change and everything. The role, and Bell. I think it will all depend on the role he has in their playoff run the rest of the way. I think yes. I think that's what's going to come down to Mike Clevenger. Exact same thing. Same. Um, Adam Frazier for the Mariners. Uh, the market for him this year is not going to be what it was last year because he's so up and down. The thing that I think I said this, I can't remember if I said that here or on the Seattle Baseball Together podcast. I will take Adam Frazier's lows if it means I get his highs. Interesting. Because when that dude's on, all he does is get on base. 
Yeah, that's he is true. a he is a hit machine when he's on, and it lasts for weeks at a time. His right. lows will last for a couple weeks at a time, and he won't do anything at all, and he'll even commit a couple errors in the field. But yeah. when that dude is on, he is absolutely an all star. Mitch Haniger, fascinating situation in Seattle. Um, I would not be surprised if they let him walk because he's going to want a bunch of money, and somebody else is going to pay him. I think they. I think what it is is they'll offer him money, but it will be a discounted rate compared to what he'll get somewhere else. I, I don't think he'll be in Seattle next year. Which is too Andrew, bad. It is too bad because he's the OG at this point. But yeah. at the same time, you kind of got to move on, right? Sometimes. Yeah. Andrew Haney, uh, Raphael Montero, Noah Syndergaard. Nothing. Yeah, there's not a whole lot there for him. And then James. He'll get, he'll get picked oh, up by like Diamondbacks or something. We'll pick up Syndergaard. Right? I, he'll I'll get, pay to go to those games. That's what I mean. But he's yeah, going like to get picked him. up by a team like arizona that mm-hmm. like you know they need somebody they they got a placeholder Filling guy spot. Yeah. yeah and he's he's good enough he brings a lot of wisdom and experience and all that kind of stuff um, but ultimately like they're not going to worry about him being the best guy on the team they're just going to fill out a roster and it'll be good 